Hello guys and welcome. We're back on the PTS with the new champion point system. Quite a lot of changes that have happened with this. It's had a massive overhaul in every aspect. They've changed everything pretty much about champion points. Um, one of the first noticeable things is there is now just three categories for your champion points rather than the nine that we did have. Another thing is we've at the top just there we've got the champion point bar where we can slot certain passives and we can only slot certain passives now we can't slot all the passives we have to select the ones we want and we have to slot them on the champion point bar and the other thing is we've now seen that the champion points have no cap so we can go up to 3600 champion points a lot of people have been a bit nervous about this they're asking a lot of questions about it are we going to need all these champion points gonna have to grind out all this CP that is not going to be the case so from the things I've tested so far if we're looking to really uh, max out a tank we're kind of looking at around one and a half thousand CP is going to be the sweet spot where we've got most of the really super important passives that we need for tanking in this particular situation I'm on the PTS I'm only 810 CP and we've managed to put together a very, very good um, selection of champion points and take it into some content and survive and work with it absolutely perfectly. So for those people that are at 810 CP, you are probably going to see at the moment, this is week one of the PTS. On week one of the PTS, we're seeing that you can actually take quite a lot of damage. The champion points are having a big effect on mitigation. And it looks better than it is on the live server in terms of we are taking a lot more reduced damage and we're able to block more damage um, and even tank in light armor based on a combination of the champion points and the changes to the light armor and heavy armor and medium armor passives. So we're going to go over all the kind of basic tank um, champion point stuff. Just cover all the really useful tank passives and find a way to kind of distribute the champion points at 810 CP for a way that's going to make it somewhat useful for you guys so we're going to head on in first to warfare which is where most of our mitigation champion points are coming from so blue cp used to be typically damage orientated now it's a combination of just ma mainly combat based stuff so this is your mitigation this is your uh, your damage your penetration all that kind of stuff is all inside the blue cp so what this does cause a problem with, if you're trying to build into damage and into mitigation, you're going to struggle at low CP. But if you're just focusing on one role, such as a tank role, it's not going to be too much trouble. So, firstly, we'll just kind of explain. So we've got, first of all, uh, non-slottable. Those are the kind of yellow stars. These are just perks that you're going to get to your character. So you add them in, and that's just going to give your character more stamina. This doesn't need to be slotted. This is just a buff that you're going to get to your character, and you'll just get that as, as a buff the whole time you've got those champion points in there. If you see the kind of blue ones that we've got here, these are um, the slottable buffs. So we have to slot these on the bar, on the champion point bar. And so we've got to be quite selective of which ones we decide to use, because we can only slot four of those from each section so we can only slot we can only slot four blue passive champion point categories the purple ones are kind of more detailed things so when we press in that it opens up another tree of mitigation based uh, champion point trees that we can delve into so to start off with we, there is a certain point so we can't put points into here until we unlock it and to get to that point we have to put points into tireless discipline so you can start off by putting 10 points into there to unlock this main one and then we press onto that um, and we've got quick recovery so quick recovery is helpful but it's not going to be a priority early on so just 10 points into there and that will unlock the other cp that we we are interested in we don't need this top one and this one's also a slottable this is critical resistance and we don't need that that's for pvp we do have Hardy, and this one is quite a priority. So with 810 CP, we are 
not looking to spend all of the champion points um, at the moment because we're trying to spread them out among all of the different areas that we might find useful. So Hardy is going to be one of the main priorities. We've got to spend 10 points into Quick Recovery to unlock it. The 10 points into Quick Recovery will also unlock Preparation and we can put some points into there as well. Now these are the ones we want to max out as a priority. These, these ones that are going to give us these mitigation as a tank we want to try and max these out as a priority but at the minute we're only 810 CP, we're not going to be able to max these out. So once we've done in there, we go back out and now you can see we've got 100 points slotted into there. And by putting points into here, we've also unlocked some new ones. So reduce reduces your damage taken by area of effect attacks. Now that's something we're probably going to be interested in as well as a tank. Reducing the damage of AoEs. This one is also a slotable skill. So as you can see, it's kind of got a blue tint to the star. This one's kind of a yellow colour. So this one is actually something we're going to need to slot onto the bar. We have to put that, we assign it and we place it on the bar. Bulwark, another good tank passive, that's 50 points to unlock the whole thing. So you can put less than 50 points in, but you're not going to get any benefit from that. So we put 50 points in and we need to assign that onto our bar as well. Reduce damage taken uh, by damage over time effects. I don't know if you can see, but so overall we need 50 points to complete this full CP tree. If we put like one point in, it's not going to do anything. We need to get to the first line, which is 10 points. Once we reach that, we get our first 2%. So that's one stage, um, and that will unlock that for us. So we'll, we'll go to stage 3, and that will give us um, our percentage for that one. That one also needs slotting. That's another slottable one. And then we've got Duelist Rebuff. Uh, reduce your damage taken by single target attacks by 2% per stage. So the same again. We'll put 30 into that. So now we've got a bar full with all our mitigation stuff. So we are obviously tanking. We're going to prioritise mitigation. So when you look around, we have got other things like Grant, Max Magicka. This is definitely something that you would you, you would put points into there when you've got them spare. Things like Riposte. So this is a, a passive that we used to have as a tank. If we put points into a certain champion point, we'd unlock this. When you compare, when you block damage, um, you're going to do damage back every 5 seconds. Now, we're going to lose mitigation if we have to unslot one of these to slot this. So we don't need to actually put any points into there. So you can pick this up, and this is the thing that people don't understand is, when you've got max CP, you'll be able to get all of the trees and all of the buffs and all of the things that we need. Uh, and the things that you don't need, and that's why... 3,600 CP seems drastic, but it's not something that you actually need, because we could put points into here, but we're going to have to unslot something more valuable to use that. So it's kind of not worth doing. There are some situations where it might be worth switching one of the things out. So reinforced, uh, when you begin brace, bracing, you gain a damage shield. Seems like a quite good passive, but which one are you going to drop for it? You're going to have to drop something for that. So this is where it becomes a choice and a decision based on what you'd prefer. Do you prefer a damage shield or would you rather have 1,900 resistances? And then there's more and more things as you go further down, but none of these are really related to the tank roll. So for the last few champion points... Oh. So for the last few champion points, we'll just stick a few extra into these ones. We've got, we've got another 10 points, we'll put some into there. That's something to that. So that is pretty much our blue champion points. Now, when you've got more points, you will max these out. So you'll, for now, this is kind of a workable solution. We've got a few points into all of the the useful stuff that we can get our, our hands on. You can max this out when you get more points. So you would definitely max out the max stamina. You would definitely go along and max out max magicka for those extra stats. But they're not a massive priority early on. There is also damage based passives. So you have to put 10 points into here to get to here. You can't get here without putting the points into there first. And when we look into here, so initially these are these are mostly damage based stuff. This is mostly damage based um, CP. But we would put 10 points into this particular one here to unlock this particular CP passive because this one these don't need to be slotted these are non-slottable CP 
uh, benefits that we're going to get. Increases your chance to apply a magical status effect by 30% per stage. So as a tank, we are usually responsible for some kind of status effect. So this is going to be something you are going to have to get, but it might not be a priority in the early days when you're first uh, setting up your champion points, maybe you don't have enough. And when you're 810 CP, for example, this isn't something that you're going to be ha going to be able to do. So this is kind of something that you're not going to use straight away, but definitely something that you need to build your CP towards in the future. And the same for the other side, we've got increased your chance to apply martial stats effects by 30% as well. So you would pick these CP passives up as a tank, but you wouldn't prioritize them at the start. You would prioritize your damage mitigation passives. So to max out your blue CP, not including the damage based ones we talked about, that's 450 champion points into the blue that we need. In total, that means you would need 1,350 CP just to max out the mitigation CP passives. If you also wanted to include these, uh, these particular ones with the increased chance to apply status effects, you would need 660 blue CP, which means in total, overall CP would need to be 1,980 to benefit from all of the blue champion points that we need as a tank. So it is quite a lot. As I did mention though, with this setup, I was able to go in and tank Zamaja on Cloudrest plus three veteran in light armor. So combining this CP with the passives from um, the armor passives, they're like you've got more than enough mitigation at 810 CP to be able to do all content. That would include all the things people are doing now. So hard mode trials, hard mode dungeons, you would be able to do them, no problem. So you don't need to get that 1,908 CP for all of the passives maxed out, but it would be nice additional benefits for you as a tank to be able to have more max stamina and more max magicka, maxed out um, mitigations and all those kinds of things. So while they are very nice to have, they're not completely 100% essential, but eventually you'll work towards them and that's the sort of thing that you'll want to be using. Okay, for the red CP, so the red CP is mostly focused around health and cost reduction and that kind of stuff. So the priorities here, you've got to put points to start with in um, block cost reduction. Now this block cost reduction seems to, it appears to come out at the very end of the equation. So when you put in uh, 50 points, that would reduce your block cost by 100, but it doesn't actually reduce it by 100. When we tested it earlier, it only reduced block cost by 70. So it's not actually worth putting the full 50 points in unless you absolutely need it and you block a lot um, and maybe you don't have full sturdy gear and stuff like that. So it would be more um, beneficial to go full sturdy instead of using 50 points into there. But still, you would use this. This is something you would max out eventually. But to start with, you don't really need to. The next one is fortification. This one is huge so when we max this out it's a hundred points but increases the amount of damage you can block by four percent per stage that's twenty percent total um, that we can get from this from this passive this has been tested um, today on um, various bosses and stuff and by using this passive we basically lost about 8k damage received by using it so this is the number one priority in your red CP. You've got to get this passive. In terms of like a next priority, you've got to go all the way over to the other side. And we've got these ones where they don't have to be slotted. So these are non uh, sorry, these are slottable ones. These are slottable ones. So the red, the kind of ones with the red glow are slottable passives. So these ones, you don't have um, a set value that you have to input to get a benefit. So if you put one point into this, you would benefit from an extra 28 max health. So you can just put a few points into these. It's not completely essential. And these ones are all good for tanking. So we've got um, increased max health. We've got increased armor, which is resistances. And we've got increased recovery. All three recoveries as well, which is quite nice. So we can put points in, into these as much as we want and as little as we want. Eventually, you would want to max these out. Um, some of the other passives that we've got down here. So we have got tumbling. Now, if you're wearing heavy armor, it's going to be quite essential to use some points into tumbling because the increased dodge roll cost when wearing heavy armor 
is quite noticeable. Um, that is one of the main things that has um, cause and effect. So if you are somebody who likes to dodge roll attacks and avoid damage, then you would need to potentially go and put some points into these. Uh, we forgot to slot these, sorry. So we need to slot these on your bar to benefit from those. Well, we've got those on there, um, and also that, that one's a passive one, that one's a passive one as well. Um, in, decrease the cost of, of dodge roll. Your next dodge roll is free of cost. So because of being a tank and probably wearing heavy armor, this put, this is likely to be quite a priority skill. It's quite handy to have. It's going to be helpful because we have got quite a high st uh, stamina cost for dodge rolling now. Mystic Tenacity reduces the duration of elemental status effects applied to you by 5%. So this is quite handy. It's very situational though. So this isn't a priority to go to 50. But you do want to go to 10, because when you go to 10 points, you then unlock increased max health. So the increased max health per stage is another one that's quite nice. And you want to try and max this one out as well when you can. So these want, you want to max all these out. There are some other perks in there. So if you are like on a Dragon Knight tank, or maybe a Templar tank, you can go for Shield Master. Which can then also go into increased effectiveness of damage shields uh, with the Bastion passive. This one would need to be slotted, so you'd probably slot this instead of your uh, free dodge roll passive, maybe. But this one can reduce, uh, sorry, increase the effectiveness of damage shields, which is definitely something that you're going to want to benefit from on a DK who spams a lot of igneous shields, or on a Templar tank whose main way of staying alive is with Radiant Ward. So that would be something that you would consider there. Um, in, in terms of other passives, increase your movement speed when sprinting is always okay to have, um, especially in trials where you run in between ad pulls and you have to stay with your group. Reduces the cost of sprint by 20 stamina per stage. Obviously, again, always good for when you're doing kind of speed runs and trying to get through dungeons and trials fast. Another good passive, increase your movement speed while bracing by 2%. So this is quite good because when you're blocking, sometimes you need to move out of mechanics while also holding block to avoid damage from other stuff. So this is something that's not essential, but good to have when you can get it. And then the other passive is not really essential. So you could go for reduced cost of batch later down the line. It's not essential at all. Reducing your cost of batch isn't that important. You don't have to bash that often as a PvE tank. And that's really it. So you've got like restore stamina and things like that. So these aren't that good for tanking because you're not going to very often get the last hit on an enemy, which means you're not going to get the benefit from it. So you'll get these eventually when you're into your thousands and thousands of CP. Um, and then you've got little benefits of things like this, reduced cost of breakthrough. You want to pick those up. But then the other stuff around it, the slottable um, benefits are not that useful. Increases the duration of time you're immune, immune to crown control. So that's potentially an okay one, but there isn't a lot of enemies that are causing crowd control. I would say these are more based around uh, PvP. So the main tank ones, uh, the main tank ones we've, we've covered already. So you want to slot these. I have a few points into there. And we'll go for some points into there as well. So those are the main tank ones that we're going to aim for on the red CP. Green CP is is kind of just quality of life based champion points, so there isn't really much in here that's worth picking up that you absolutely need to have. So the ones that I would probably suggest, um, you have to put 10 points into that one, you got 10 points into this one as well, and then we can kind of go up to your weapon and chance DK 20% slower, so that is quite a nice one. You, you have to use less soul gems to keep recharging your weapons. Um, you've got another one here, increases the time on your food. And then you've got this one here where whenever you use a potion, you have a 10% chance not to consume it. So that one's quite a handy one as well. And you have to put 75 points to benefit from that. The next really, really good one. Um, so increases your out of combat movement speed by 1% per stage. This one's very, very handy. Uh, you have to slot this one. We have to slot this one. And we have to slot this one. The other ones are kind of just passive benefits. And there we go. So we, we're going to confirm all this. Um, and then we'll have a little look at our stat sheet. So 
We are on a red guard Dragon Knight tank. When we buff up. And look at our stat sheet. As you can see, we've got quite good stats there. We've got 45k health, 24k stamina, 18.8k magicka, 30, nearly 31k spell resistance, almost 28k physical, 2.1k magicka recovery. Some big, big stuff in there. Another good thing is the advanced stats that we've now got. Uh, this is really good. So, as you can see on the sheet here, block cost 885. It's reasonably expensive to block, but we can put more points into the block cost reduction, and like I say, you could be running full sturdy. Block mitigation, 82%. So, really nice block mitigation. Dodge roll cost zero because we've got the passive, but when we do a dodge roll, we'll have to wait a good period of time before it's free again. Um, so then we'll get the cost added in there and then it'll go away. But yeah, there's some nice benefits in there. Some real, real nice benefits in there. And it's a really good sheet. I'm glad we've got this new um, this new kind of sheet that we can look at to look at all of our, our kind of information about our characters. There's a lot more information now. So this really helps when you're applying your CP. You can have a look at what your block cost is. You can have a look at dodge roll, sprint, all that. You can come back and use this and actually see the real values of how that looks okay thank you very much for watching this video guys um to keep up to date with all the changes with the cp and all that kind of stuff on the pts make sure you check out the tankclub.com and the tank club discord the links are in the description below thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time bye bye for now